Hello everyone. Today, uh, once again, another important topic of my molecular biology, that is DNA proofreading, we will go through. So let's proceed. The fidelity of DNA replication. Fidelity of replication means replication of DNA and the production of accurate daughter DNA using the parental DNA as a template. DNA that is transmitted to daughter cells must be accurately duplicated to maintain genetic integrity and to promote genetic continuity. So fidelity is very important and it shows how accurate the DNA replication is. And it is very important for transmitting genetic information from one generation to the other or from one generation of cells to the daughter cells. So the high fidelity of DNA replication is possible because of certain features in this whole process. The first is nucleotide selectivity. The polymerase is able to select the incoming nucleotide. Then the second one is proofreading that it is able to check its own processing and its own ability to replicate correctly. Uh, then after the replication is over, the third strategy that is the mismatch repair that can be done. Uh, in mismatch repair, uh, the wrong nucleotides that have entered can be removed. And here a process of methylation occurs in the parental strand and that is how the parental strand can be uh, differentiated from the newly growing strand and here the dam methylase enzyme is active and the last is that sufficient levels of deoxyribonucleotides so all these four uh, aspects uh, make our DNA replication a process of high fidelity and high accuracy that is how the genetic integrity is maintained from one generation to the other. The reference of this diagram is given here. So this brings us to the next topic that is uh, proofreading. The term proofreading is the removal of incorrect nucleotides immediately after they are added to the growing DNA replication chain. This increases the fidelity of replication. So proofreading is extremely important for the replication, for the fidelity of replication. Frequency of errors in replication. The replication occurs at a rate of approximately 1000 nucleotides per second. Errors in replication occurs spontaneously only once in every 10 days to the power 9 to 10 raised to the power 10 base pairs, which means that the process of replication has high fidelity rate. Errors in hydrogen bonding leads to errors in a growing DNA, chain once in every 10 raised to the 4 to 10 raised to the 5 base pairs. So once again, this shows that the process of replication has high fidelity or it is highly accurate. The error uh, replication has an error rate of 1 per 1000 nucleotides. DNA polymerase proofreading. A 3' to 5' proofreading exonuclease domain is intrinsic to most DNA polymerases. It allows the enzyme to check each nucleotide during DNA synthesis and excise mismatched nucleotides in the 3 prime to 5 prime direction. So we all know that the DNA polymerase replicates in 5 prime to 3 prime direction. It adds a nucleotide at the 3 prime end and it, in addition to this, it has the ability to check its own activity. So it is able to check whether what it has done is done properly or not. And that is done by the 3' prime to 5' prime proofreading exonucleus domain, which is present in most of the DNA polymerases.
Let us take a look at the DNA proofreading mechanism. This is the replicating DNA. The strand that is in 5 prime to 3 prime direction is the newly synthesized strand and the strand that is in 3 prime to 5 prime direction is the parental strand. The enzyme here is the DNA polymerase and you can see that a wrong nucleotide is entering here. So now let us look at the steps of DNA proofreading. The polymerase adds incorrect nucleotide to the new DNA strand. So the moment the DNA polymerase recognizes the new DNA strand, the incorrect uh, nucleotide, it stops the further elongation or further addition of any nucleotide. So the polymerase is recognized the mispaired base in DNA and it stops addition of new nucleotides to the DNA. The first job is to remove the incorrect nucleotide. So DNA polymerase removes this incorrect nucleotide using the 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity from new DNA strand. So you can see that the incorrect nucleotide is being removed and this is possible by the 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity of polymerase. Prokaryotes have five types of DNA polymerases and all these polymerases have 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity. But however, DNA polymerase 3 is the most efficient. And in eukaryotes, it is the polymerases that elongate the chain, that is delta and epsilon, are involved with 3 prime, 5 prime exonuclease activity. So both prokaryotes and eukaryotes have different polymerases that have the 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity. So once the incorrect base is removed, the correct nucleotide is replaced by the 5 prime to 3 prime activity of DNA polymerase. So now you can see that cytosine is pairing with guanine. And this addition of correct nucleotide is done by the DNA polymerase 5 prime to 3 prime activity. So by now you have understood that DNA polymerase has two activities that is the 5 prime to 3 prime activity which polymerizes and the 3 prime to 5 prime activity which can remove incorrect nucleotides by exonuclease activity. Now when the incorrect base was removed there was a small gap or a small hole. This gap is filled by DNA ligase so that's the final step where DNA ligase seals the gap and this is how the DNA proofreading occurs in step-by-step -step fashion of first recognizing the mispair, then removing by 3 prime 5 prime exonuclease activity, then replacing with correct base by 5 prime 3 prime activity, and finally sealing the gap by DNA ligase. How does the enzyme recognize the error? So when there are two bases, when two bases are mispaired, that is for example, in this case, it is guanine, which is mispaired with thymine. Which of the two should be removed or replaced? How does the enzyme recognize that it is a, the thymine that is the wrong base or guanine that is the wrong base? So in proofreading, the DNA polymerase reads the newly added base before adding the next one. So a correction can be made. The polymerase checks whether the newly added base has paired correctly with the base in the template strand. If it is the right base, the next nucleotide is added. Otherwise, the error is corrected. This is the DNA polymerase. And now let us look at the summary quickly. So during DNA synthesis, most DNA polymerases check their work and they fix the majority of the mispaired bases in a process called proofreading. 
DNA polymerase has 5 prime to 3 prime activity for addition of nucleotides to the growing strand. It also has 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity for removing incorrect nucleotide from the new growing DNA strand. Both these increase replication fidelity and reduce the errors. Immediately after DNA synthesis, any remaining misspaired bases are detected and replaced in a process called mismatch repair. If DNA gets damaged, it can be repaired by various mechanisms. This has been discussed in other lectures. The link description will be given below. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe to my channel. Keep watching.